Welcome to another SolidWorks tutorial with how it's designed. In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of the chamfer feature and by first starting with a simple extrusion. So let's get started. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. In the description, I'm going to include a free SolidWorks basics guide. So look out for that link. All right, we're on the front plane here going to go normal view. We go to center rectangle in sketch mode. Start from the origin, go out. We don't even have to dimension it just for demonstration purposes. So we've got our sketch. Now it's time to do an extrude. You notice that I don't even have to get out of sketch mode. It allows me to pick the extrude feature. Go ahead, go blind condition. We'll go three inches. It'll show a preview with these yellow outlines. Hit OK. Now that we've got our cube feature, we can go ahead and go for the chamfer. Let's say you want to deburr these sharp edges on your part. Well, that's what the chamfer is for. We'll go and pick the chamfer from the fillet drop down. It'll prompt us to do chamfer type. We'll do this first default one here, nice and symmetrical. Items to chamfer, edges, faces, and loops. We're going to, if we turn full preview on, It'll show the yellow outlines again, or we can have no preview. Let's go full preview. And pick these four edges. Now with our parameters, we can pick a distance, basically how long we want that chamfer to be and the angle. 45 degrees is about the symmetrical type of chamfer. So we're going to leave that and we're going to make this slightly smaller. That's good. We'll hit OK. For this video, that will do it. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. Remember, if you haven't already become a Patreon member, you'll get exclusive SolidWorks content. Look out for the free SolidWorks Basics Guide in the description and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll see you next time.